All right, hello again everybody, it's Wyoming James checking in from the Urban Micro Farm. So it is day three of Operation Chicken Fodder. Uh, if we're going all the way back to day one, this is what we, this is what we started with here. This is, this is the original batch. Now, there's not a lot to see. I'm not seeing sprouts. I'm not seeing really much anything. This looks just like what it did yesterday, but it's only soaked for, in actual water, it's only soaked for two overnights. So 48 hours plus or minus, but we've, we've got it here. It's, it's in there. Hopefully it grows, starts sprouting soon because in another four days, we're going to be putting that hopefully inside chickens. So it needs to be a little more lush and a little more green than that. So that was day one. Uh, this is day two. This is our second batch. And you can look in here and see what I'm seeing, which isn't a lot different than, than what we started out with. So what I'm gonna do, so that I don't bore you, we're gonna make a cut right here. I'm gonna drain this. I'm gonna uh, rinse it off, rinse all that chlorine off of it. And then I'm gonna spread it out in the pan and we'll be right back. All right, so we've, we've uh, drained all the bleach water off of this off the second batch here and uh, we're just gonna dump them out in our pan dump those out. I think because we're so precise with our measurements it's important that we get all of it in there all 5.5 ounces you guys have seen how difficult that can be to, to get that five and a half ounces in there. So um, now here's something fun. Just for experimentation purposes, yesterday I pulled the corn, pulled the corn out. <laughs> Today I'm going to leave it in. I don't see what it can hurt. So we're going to watch that corn sprout up there. Oh, there's two. Those are two of them in there. <laughs> okay, I only saw the one. Oh, there's another one. Yeah. Here's the other thing I'm not completely sure of. These trays might just be too small. I once it starts, once it starts growing and, and doing its thing, they, they might just be a little bit too small. But nonetheless, we're using them. It's what we have. We originally had planted uh, garden vegetables in these and sprouted them and and kind of raised them up under grow lights. So there we are. There's there's day two. We're gonna give them a little drink. Okay, so there's day one right there, closest to you. This is day number two. I dare you to see a difference between the two of them. <laughs> okay, so we're back at it here again with our all-purpose joint compounds. Also, if USG Sheetrock would like to send some some royalty money to us for using their little can. We, we'll take it. Um, so let's put that on there. Okay. So five and a half ounces again. You know, you would think that being the professional operation that we are, I'd use like a measuring cup or something. Oh no, <laughs> we're doing it the old, old fashioned way. 4.4, 4.45, bingo. You okay. need 5.5. What? <laughs> oh, all right, let's do another ounce. Maybe if you had a measuring cup, you would Maybe if I had a measuring guess. cup. Hmm. 
This is the funnest part for me. I'm not kidding. <laughs> 5.4, winning, <laughs> okay, so we're going to take our five and a half ounces, and Mandy said I used too much bleach the first day, and the right amount the second day, so this is what they call the right amount of bleach. Okay. Who knows? Maybe I'm sterilizing these suckers. <laughs> Maybe we should try one without. Okay. I'm going to fill this with water. And we're going to put the little lid on it. And we're going to go from there. So, here's the thing. We have been, we've been putting more and more research into, these, into this uh, fodder system. This is a real crude system that we're using for fodder. It's real basic. I hope it works. If we can prove the concept, what we've decided is we'll, we'll try to scale it up so that we can hopefully use it on, on other critters that we've got planned for the future. Um, if we can get to where, uh, you know, there's a couple of people on YouTube, on Google, who are growing hundreds of pounds of fodder every single day for animal feed. And if we can prove it on this small scale, we will scale it up with a, with a better operation, a better system, if you will. They make these systems that are that are racks, and the racks you rotate the racks, and the the top ones drain into the next one down, and then the next one down. They all drain into one another. Use a recirculating pump, and they just grow this fodder uh, healthy. So if any of you, if anybody else has any experience with this on a small scale or large scale, either way, comment below. Tell us tell us what we're missing. Tell us what your thoughts are. Tell us what your experiences are. Um, we would love to hear from you because. We're, we're such beginners when it comes to this. So we've got our fingers crossed that this works because it's gonna be a great source of nutrition for those birds. So Wyoming James, checking out with you from another day at the Urban Micro Farm. <laughs>